you who don't know, I'm Melody's stepdad. And I met Melody when she was five years old. And I remember the first time I saw her. I remember her like it was yesterday. Linda had me over for a, a homemade dinner. Didn't know at the time her mom made that homemade dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different story. And it was supposed to be the first time I met Melody. And I came in and Linda introduced introduced us. Melody was in the floor, kind of sitting Indian style on her bedroom floor reading the book. And I thought she was just the sweetest, Bye -bye. most innocent, precious thing I'd ever seen. I fell in love with her right then. And as much as I knew I wanted to be Linda's husband, I knew I wanted to be Melody's. And uh, I said hi, and she said, hi. You can come and sit down and read me a book if you want to. <laughs> so I learned two things in that moment that are still true today. Number one, Melody is not afraid to tell you exactly what she wants and how you can help her with that. That has not changed to this moment. The other thing I learned too is she was a welcoming spirit to me. She was trusting and sweet. And she welcomed me and allowed me into her life. That hasn't changed. And you know, a lot of step stepdads don't have it as easy as I did. I mean, sometimes you hear, well, that's not what my real dad would do, or, you know, you can't say that to me. I never heard anything close to that once in 18 years. All I heard consistently was, Alan, thank you for being, for choosing to be in my life. I really appreciate it. And so that's the dog. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye Um, you know, when I when I was young, I I thought being a dad meant, you know, you raise a kid and you tell them how to uh, how they should live their lives. Here's what you need to do. You need to do this and this and this to be a good person. What I found out was she taught me more about being a good person than I taught her. Having you in my life has made me a better person, and I've tried hard to be the father and the man that you deserve. And I love you. Thank you. And now the responsibility is on us. <laughs> We'll tell them if they ask. If you've ever heard of Linda, yes, she's the most terrific, wonderful, creative, magnificent, smart, beautiful girl you've ever seen. But the one thing we truly have always said when somebody asked me about Melody, I said, you know what was so great? We trusted her. For even from a young age, we've always trusted her because she made great decisions. She made great decisions as a kid, in school, in college, in career. And Linda and I both knew that when she did bring somebody home to meet us and said, Mom and Dad, this guy's the one that he'd be able to get. And I think that's true. Thomas, you're a man of great character. And when Melody's with you, she feels respected, and she feels loved and cherished. And I think she feels good about who she is. And I'm going to tell you, you'll find out one day there's no greater compliment a father can pay the son of all the night. And I thank you for being with me. Welcome to our family. I'm just sorry that was more than two minutes. <laughs>